Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. Um, so somebody asked me just now, like I did that other animation about the pregnant, you know, animation animated in iClone. So I, if, if you didn't see it, it's, uh, it's the one I just did this morning about animating a gal uh, using the CC3 uh, morphs into iClone. So somebody said, how can I get expressions animated from Daz over into iClone? So let me show you real quick. First of all, you have to have a base figure. So this is a Gen 8 base figure. We're going to, we export this as normal, just export as normal. And if you, you only need to do this once and bring it into CC3 as normal. This is it brought in as normal and then save this out. Just save this out as an avatar, just export as an avatar. And you know, there's your common settings. And I just called it uh, like the default, okay? Or the default, whatever. Uh, but you have to have that base. So we can we can call it uh, default. Uh, and then you uh, import, for, so once you have your base, then you're gonna go ahead and export your expression. So here, if we go back to Daz and we find an expression somewhere, uh, let's just make her, uh, I'm trying to find an extreme expression. <laughs> Some of these expressions are very funny. I want to find an extreme one, though, that you can see how... Uh, all right, let's use Despise. Despise looks pretty extreme here. We'll put Despise on her. So there we go. So, <laughs> so that's pretty extreme. Way too extreme for my taste. But in any case, so you go ahead and you export this. So you go ahead and export it. And we'll... Uh, I've been calling mine angry, the one I did before. But we'll call this uh, Despise. Despise. And this was Despise 4, so we'll export that. And just as normal, just accept all the regular uh, exporting. You're just going to use this base character to bring in uh, with this expression. So we're going to go to Transformer, bring in a CC3 Plus, that Despise. And and the other one was brought in a CC3 Plus too, the other, your other base figure. So we bring this in as this Despise comes in here eventually it takes a little time unfortunately there's no there's no quick uh, shortcut for this process even with a very fast processor which i have and say okay and uh we don't really worry about the textures or anything we're just looking for the expressions itself so bring that in got the expression then we're going to go ahead and save that out as an avatar export as an avatar and that's fine just like we did with the normal one we'll call this despise I think that was four, I think. Anyway, now we've done that. So now we'll go ahead and load in, just open, import the, uh, or, or yeah, import the avatar, the normal one. You want to import that normal avatar. And it's going to ask you some uh, some other things, but you don't need to worry about. Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I can't do it that way. Uh, we'll just do, uh, 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 uh. here, let me just drag and drop it. Unfortunately, you can't do the, I'm, I'm dragging and dropping is what I'm going to do now over here. You can't see it on this side because I'm over here and you're over there. I've got, I've got a number of different, um, there we go, default. Okay. Bring in the default avatar. Okay. That's fine. Replace all is fine. I don't know why I can't import it. There's got to be a way of doing that without the keys. But in any case, okay, so now we have the regular, this this base avatar that we did. And so now we can send this one to iClone. I mean, yeah, send it to iClone. Send the character to iClone. And we come over here. iClone loads in the character, okay. And there's the character. And now, once we have this character, just like we did with the pregnant ones, we're going to do the same thing by creating a morph for this. Uh, with the uh, go to animation, we go to morph creator. We're going to create morphs for this using that other avatar that we saved out, that uh, that different character. So it's coming in my other screen. It takes, takes a while. So there's the other screen. So we're going to create a morph like that, and then the morph is that despise avatar. Loads that in. Okay. And there we go. Now, we don't need all of these different uh, things here. For example, if we if we load it, we get in real close here, and we uh, look at her face, you'll see that uh, some of these some of these sliders don't do anything. Like this tongue, you don't really need the spy's tongue. So that's that's one there that we can actually get rid of. Uh, this despise here, that's the face. So we want to keep that. 
Uh, the custom eye too, if you look at it, I think there's just a little bit of change in the eye. We don't need that either. And the last one is the teeth. We don't need the teeth either. So that's all we really need. So send and replace it to iClone. So now we got it in iClone. It comes over here. It sent those morphs over here. So now we can use those morphs in an animation. So if we go back to here, to the start, and then we bring up our morph animator. Now we have that animation that we can, we can use in, in animation. So we can go along the timeline anywhere we want and then animate that despise in there. And this will work even if you have other animations on top of it. This will be applied on top. So in some cases, it may be a little too extreme. But for example, if we go into the content here, oops, if we go into the content and the actions here and the face, and we'll go into the Heidi Talk, for example, and put Heidi Talk on here. Now when we play this, she'll start talking. Welcome. Please make yourself at home. But we can also then go over to the um, to the Morph Animator, as we have that in there. Go to Modify and go to Morph Animator. Bring that in. And then we can add some of this in there. So Heidi is gets progressively angry or disgusted. I've been expecting you. And I'm really excited to... <laughs> I'm really excited, except she doesn't look... To finally see you here. Set a key there. <laughs> oh, that's just creepy. And then she starts looking better again. So anyway, so, that, so now we've animated that along the timeline, so... Welcome. Please make yourself at home. I've been expecting you. And I'm really excited to finally see you here. <laughs> that's just creepy okay hopefully that answers the question that's how you use expressions inside of from daz inside of iclone and we'll see you guys on the forum